Talking on my back, go figure. Yeah. Whole team eats from Spitter. Eat. Never was the one to go flicker. Nah. No face, no case, no picture. No For place, big stakes, my dinner. Give it up. Give it up. What up, Team Oak House? Welcome to Do Tour. We decided to come by for a day and check it out. And, dude, they have the Rail Jam Park section open to the public. We can hike it and hit all the Do Tour features, which is, like, super sick. So we're going to do this until we get kicked out because no one else is in here. So I think we're allowed to do this. Either way, I'm hyped. These features are massive and we haven't done any runs. So it's, like, literally zero to a thousand. And uh, I'm excited to send it. So here we go. Jonathan Buckhouse dropping in. Ooh. First run, do tour, street style. Here we go. Three, two. Oh. Everything's frozen. It's like two degrees right now. Let's do it again. We'll we'll also progressively do the features harder and harder as we kind of warm up. Three, two, one, drop. I'm not even mad you gotta hike this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just excited to be to be in here. Also, the sun's about to come over. Oh, it's gonna get good. All right, you ready? Yep. It's a little sad when you don't clean the feature after you hike for it. But <laughs> no way. Let's go. Nice to meet you, Cooper. Nice to meet you too. Oh. Cooper's you Let's go, dude. These stairs are a lifesaver. Two, one, drop. I think so. I just came in and started riding. This next one's gonna be the money ride. <laughs> Remember the slick that I was talking about? Uh huh. So that was went to catch myself and just. Yeah. So it's freezing cold, but I mean, we're putting in some work. I'm sweating, so we're gonna take a layer off. It's the warmest merch in the game, guys. I don't lie about that. And everyone wonder what my base layer is? It's always like a long sleeve t-shirt and then this sweater. This sweater is a game changer. Highly recommend snagging one. Chloe Kim dropping in on the half pipe. Probably yeah, I got jump, it. Jump over those trees with that. <laughs> She's so good. Layer down. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, drop. crazy how when you hike something how you realize sometimes you get sloppy and then you just, you're just sad because you put so much work in for a single drop let's uh give cody some love in the chat by the way he's hiking this to film not even to ride so shout out to cody we wouldn't be getting the shots without him do tour baby let's go at 10 they open up the main section we can go get some mountain dew So the plan today is kind of have a single session on each feature. So there's one more trick I want to get on this sea rail. We use a back 180 out and then we'll move on to a different one. So here we go. Woo, got it, here. Oh. So something I'm going to do that we kind of normally don't do on a day where we get a lot of runs is the, even the scrubby, horrible tricks, I might keep some of those in. One, to build the story, because we're hiking and we're not going to get as many laughs if we were doing a run and you know what I'm saying. But also, like this is some heavy rails. Some of the heaviest rails I've hit in a while. So it's it's nice. I don't know. Like, when, I'm not that good at snowboarding, but I'm willing to come out here, put in the work, and hike this thing 50 to 60 times today and try, and try and get some tricks on some of these heavy rails. Cody, what do you think of the rails? Did you say 50 to 60 times? <laughs> Something uh, like that. They're heavy. I'm glad I'm not hitting them. 
They're big boy rails. Here we go. We're stepping it up now. Here we go. Three, two, one. See, like, I'm not going to scrub that run from you guys. I'm going to let you see it because that was my first attempt on that transfer. And then the couple attempts on that down foot, that one, but like, this stuff's not easy. It takes attempts. Shout out to the pros that ride this and throw bangers. What up? So this park is big and heavy. Almost as big and heavy as today's sticker shout out. I'm going to mess this name up. We got Gafira Dior with two white evolution stickers on the helmet and on the snowboard as well as the b harrington rock in the roman sticker on the helmet and another sticker on his snowboard guys looking sick thank you so much for snagging evolution stickers but for all the skiers watching the channel we do have a ski version of the evolution sticker but guys when you snag the merch you support the dream we're about to start traveling like crazy and this is how we fund all the traveling is through the merch guys so thank you everyone that's been snagging hoodies t-shirts long sleeves as well as all of the windbreakers we've been selling a ton of the windbreakers so thank you so much for everyone they're grabbing the blue with gold or the black with white you guys are incredible like i can't believe we do this for a living because of you because you snag the merch so once again all the evolution stickers and merch is linked in the description. If you do snag any of it, tag me on my Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. But also follow the Instagram for bonus extra content as well as the TikTok. You would know we're ripping here at Due Tour doing a bunch of fun stuff if you're following those other platforms. So please do that and enough talking. Let's send us some more. One. Yeah. Me on that man. What's your name? Snagging that, MVP, 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 you just cut OD. MVP, MVP, doing things no one else wants to do, like hike up park 56, seven times. This gap between this thing is about like five to six feet. So here we go. Three, two, one. Making progress every run. Just having fun, guys. This is sick. The sun's starting to show up. Also, let's be real, we have the two tour park to ourselves right now. How insane is that? All right, here we go. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. Guys, I'd like to point out this mini cat over here. That's perfect size for the backyard park. Go fund me, should we start one? I'm oh, joking. <laughs> I was like on it like oh this is it <laughs> this one's it I feel it so now we run into a dilemma where I haven't gotten a clean enough trick on the big transfer that we're doing in the middle but we got the trick on the cannon to down flat down so but the issue is when we hit the transfer it doesn't line up to any good features down here so it's hard to hit two in a row do you want to just post the transfer real quick hell yeah I do okay you post the transfer real quick <laughs> I'll hike just the transfer and then we'll go from there We gotta do it again. It's so different hitting big features like this when you're hiking up. In a run, like on the like main park or whatever, you have the whole run, you get so much speed, you can like, it's, it feels so much more normal. But the fact that you're hiking to some of the heaviest rails you'd find in like main park, it's weird. It's a little bit of a mental thing. We're so close to this though. We got a soggy board side. Let's get a clean one. Either board side or 50-50. I'll take either one, honestly. Whatever I feel in that moment. And then we're gonna check out that cannon that's like, oh, scary. You put so much energy into it. Oh, yeah. Yes, it was so clean. I just had to put some like, I had to talk myself through it for a second. Sometimes when you're hiking, you just start going through these motions. You're not really focused. I know, that's why I like 
I call it run snowboarding more than hike or backyard. Sometimes you just get through these lazy motions when you're hiking is because you put so much effort into this part of it that you get lazy on that part of it. Anyways, this can is massive. So not only do you have to clear this tabletop, which is what, 10 feet? Yeah, probably to the yeah. cannon. A Jonathan and a half. You have this massive lock off block. Now before I hit this, I knew I was gonna do this. I wanted to make sure that it was a ride on, you know, so I can just come straight. My entry doesn't have to be anything special, nothing from the side. I can just come right at it and just focus on getting over the box. The biggest thing when you see something like this is don't stare at that red box. That's gonna kill you. You gotta look past it because you're going far past it. All right, I'm scared. Here we go. We're scared, but we're still gonna send it. Do a Three, snowboard trick. Two, one. Scary, but now that we've done it, it's gonna feel a lot better. Keep going. Maybe we can get some cool tricks. It's smooth. Can you get that that 540 out. Ooh, that'd be heavy. So you gotta talk them into doing heavy tricks on stuff that I'm posted up on. Once I get comfortable not thinking about the barrier, is when the tricks are gonna start flowing. Right? Yeah. You know, it's, it takes a couple of repetitions to get. This is what it feels like. This is what it feels like. Okay. Then you can erase the box from memory and just start hucking it. So here we go. Three, two. Thumbs up. You got it. Oh, no. I like popped late. Guys, this cannon is so sick. Like once again, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm comfortable enough on it now that I don't think about the box, you know. I want a back three, which is completely blind to everything going on down here. Stoking. Let's see if I can get you guys a method, something pretty. get it we'll give that one more go and then we'll um go for the front five it's weird that like the cannons in the sun now and the landings in the shade you go from like sunny to shade oh yeah <laughs> gee dang it that one was it <laughs> so you were there now you know you got it though yeah, it's a, it's a trick we got. So we're close with that Crail frontside 180 out. It's like a body twister, super fun trick. We decided to session the cannon and not ride all the other features like we were planning, because this cannon is so good. But also, I felt bad making Cody hike just to do runs and everything. So it's kind of worked out being better, but the can like, this thing is just built so well. And not, you know, not very often you can get this many rips on a cannon that's like this big, this smooth. So I'm having a blast. But I'm like getting super tired. We gotta get some Mountain Dew. Normally we go get gamer stuff, but like in the spirit of Dew Tour, we're gonna go get some, some Mountain Dew, baby. Let's talk about Mountain Dews, baby. Count it? I didn't grab. I poked. What? I said I poked. <laughs> I didn't grab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just took some time of figuring it out, getting the body motion, but. Clean. All right, Cody claimed front five off the cannon. We got a front five off the cannon the other day. Let's see if we can go in here. I'm gonna go for a ride. <laughs> All right, we're at the bottom of the gas tank. Three, two. It's right. there. That's the first attempt, like like first like full five it's, attempts. It's there. So now, now we actually throw it. I'm just at like empty. You know, it's I, like when your gas light is on and you're like still got 10 miles and you 
You play him. You don't know. Oh, I'll give it one more go. I'm just so tired. Oops. Hi guys. This one's Chipmunk. Cause I'm just so physically tired. I've hiked this like 30 times or whatnot. So one more attempt on a five would be sick if we get it. If not, we can live to get it another day. You know, it's a long season. But man, we got some sick tricks today. We're gonna go check out the whole Mountain Dew segment and everything like that. So don't leave, but also, but, but do subscribe. So, uh, hi, can I keep my chest up right? Two for the show, two to get ready. Nope. Too tired. Just too tired, guys, yeah, sorry. But let's go get some Mountain Dew, baby. Get some Mountain Dews, baby. What a session. I'm, that was fun. I'm hyped on so much of that. Do you hear them all cheering for you? Dude, they're cheering for me in that five that I didn't get. So in typical Dutour fashion, they got the uh, big screen right here. Sean White just went down. So when you're at Dutour and you want to find the Mountain Dew, you just look for the big old Mountain Dew can. It's a good sign of where, where the Dew's at. Full cans this year, let's go. Appreciate it. Dude, they've never given out a full can. This is dope. We do need to cut to last year of Michael finding a whole fridge full of Mountain Dew. I'll check this out. Oh my gosh, there's so much Mountain Dew, dude. And like that, we're at the car. Man, what a day. I can't tell you how much of a dream it is to be able to ride like the Dew Tour features and to see how heavy they are and see how much the guys throw down. I have not watched the Rail Jam section. Like I haven't seen any of their stuff. So maybe I'll do a reaction because we've been making reaction videos. If you haven't seen one of them, I react to your guys' like crashes and stuff. It's so awesome. And the way you can do that is submit your clips to this email that's in the description. Submit your snowboard crashes, your slams, your makes, whatever. And we'll make reaction videos to them. But maybe I should react to that park whatever because i just wrote it and i haven't seen anyone throw tricks down and now i'll be like kind of understand how heavy everything was and stuff so i don't know maybe we should do that but with that team up guys thank you so much for spending your time with me today watching me shred shredding with us today and as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it's daily on this channel